Well, I always like to say this is the only class where you're going to get a kiss while you do plank, <laughs> or at least where you'll want to get a kiss while you do plank. <laughs> and twist. If your dog won't do it, like Chiquita, you can just do the twist. Hi, I'm Angie Aramburu, and I am the owner and founder of Go Fetch Run. We offer fitness classes for people and their dogs. Um, we've been doing it since April of 2013, and I got the idea to do it because I was big into fitness, but I was also big into my dog, and I hated leaving my dog at home for an extra hour or two for me to go to the gym, and I wasn't always just into doing a walk or a run. So I thought, why not incorporate the dog and work out with her, and that's how Go Fetch Run was born. Oh, good girl. No one saw. There's definitely a, a few challenges, but um, they're usually pretty funny. So when the dog doesn't cooperate, it's at least comic relief. <laughs> She'll do fine for like the first 30 minutes, and then she kind of gets tired and is like, I am not running. I'm going to sit down. You do whatever you want. But you know, then you just kind of improvise. It's kind of fun. Like, you have something to laugh at whenever they stop cooperating. Yeah, I run with him, but it's kind of tough with small dogs. Like, they'll run one way, and then I end up having to carry him back. So with this, it's like we're in the park, and we're both getting our workout. He's such a social dog that half the time I think he just wants to play with the other dogs. So keeping him focused and not, like, distracting the other dogs was a little bit tough. But I think if we come back a few more times, he'll get a little better. Our dogs aren't that active. Uh, they like to, to, to run. And I think they like uh, when we're stationary and they're able to just lie down beside us or sit beside us and get a little face time, they're able to cuddle up a little bit. I think that's her favorite part rather than the actual exercising. Oh, good girl. Okay. <laughs>